بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ثم بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Honorable Sheikh, dear sisters and brothers, welcome. And I, Aisha Khatak, as director of IU's Alumni Association, welcome you all to the much anticipated meeting with our beloved Sheikh, Dr. Bilal Phillips, Hafizullah, who, despite of his extremely busy schedule, is honoring us today in this live session, especially for you. I use alumni, rather the fruit of Sheikh's vision, inshallah ta'ala. Just to quickly remind you all, the mission of International Open Universities Alumni Association, IAA, is to connect, serve, and recognize alumni, students, and faculty by fostering relationships, commitment, and pride in support of the IOU through a wealth of community service activities, continuing educational programs, and much more. Moreover, the students who attend IOU depend on the support of the alumni. And we have to realize that without the participation of alumni assisting and mentoring the students, the students and university cannot attain the heights they deserve. So we encourage you to reestablish your commitment to the students and to IOU through your continued involvement, involvement in the association. As alumni, it is not only our responsibility, but also our duty to give back. Hence, as the IAA's administration, yani IOU's Alumni Association's administration, we invite you all as IOU's ambassadors to harness your passion, to be creative, to connect, to serve and collaborate as one inclusive community. And together indeed, inshallah ta'ala, we can build the future we want to live in and live a, leave behind a beautiful legacy, a sadiqa jariya for not only Sheikh himself, but for all of us also individually and collectively. Now, without any further delay, let me with my utmost pleasure, welcome our beloved and respected chancellor, mentor and Sheikh, Dr. Bilal Phillips, who needs, of course, no further introduction. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh, over to you. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Of course, it's my pleasure to connect again uh, with the alumni. And inshallah, this is the beginning of a series of connections because it is my wish and desire to be in regular contact with you, whether it's once each semester or twice each semester, because you are what I envisioned as the real benefit and product of the IOU. You completed your studies. And mashallah, that completion, you know, brings no end of happiness to me. And of course, on the other side, there is sadness for all those who have registered, enrolled, and dropped out, who are not able to succeed. So it is always on my mind. I'm always thinking about those left behind. And we don't want to lose them because we are not a business. Were we a business, it didn't matter. You came, you paid your fees, we got the money. Whether you continue, you don't continue, it's not really a big deal for us. But because this university is my ibadah, first and foremost, setting it up was my act of ibadah, worshiping Allah through disseminating the light and the knowledge which he gave to the ummah. 
So being that important uh, connection, which we all need to have with the rest of humanity, sharing that light, Allahu nuru samawati wal art. Allah describes himself as light. And he describes knowledge as light and the Sharia as light and the prophets as light. And, you know, all of this illuminating the darkness. You are the torch bearers of light. Who have, you who have graduated. And then especially you who have not only graduated, but you have maintained your connection with the university. And this, of course, is even more important to remain connected, to see the benefit in being a part of the university for life. Our main goal as an alumni association is to gather as many volunteers as possible and to keep them connected with the university and to continue to spread the light together. Because as the Prophet said, Yadullah al Jama'ah, Allah's hand, his support is over the community, the group, group work. And volunteering is a big challenge because it requires to a large degree self-motivation. Doing what was required to graduate that was an obligation put on your shoulders, which you just had to deal with. But to become a volunteer, you're stepping onto another plane, another level, because it's your choice. It's your choice. And because of the nature of the work of the Alumni Association being khidma or service to the Ummah through serving, continuing to serve the university. Then this volunteer role becomes even more important. And we should never look at it as something I'll do when I feel like. No. In just the same way our voluntary prayers shouldn't be, I do it when I feel like. No. The reward for the voluntary prayers, the voluntary fast, the voluntary zakah, which becomes sadaqa, and voluntary hajj, and et cetera. The rewards are even greater if we are consistent in doing. Consistency is what is required for proper volunteering. As Prophet ﷺ had said that, you know, what Allah likes the most from us is that we are consistent in our deeds, even if the deed is small, even if the volunteer, voluntary commitment or submission that we're serving the Ummah through, or benefiting the community of students in IOU, by etc., even if it's only once a week or once a month, but we are doing it consistently we are there keeping it alive because that's where the benefit is. 
And of course, shaitan will be busy. The very fact that you graduated, you defeated shaitan. All of the satanic efforts to misguide, to cause you to fall on the way, to stumble, to overcome you, discourage you, and all the other things. You have moved all that aside and achieved the goal of graduation. The goal which opens the doors for other goals of service to the Ummah. Passing on that knowledge. This is the zakah of your knowledge. Zakatul ilm, ta'lim. The zakah that we have to pay for the knowledge that we have gotten is teaching it, passing it on, sharing it with others, helping others to benefit from it, etc., etc. So very important for us to respect and treasure and cherish voluntary work. The last point I'd like to mention is what's next. After having gotten this knowledge, You've joined the Alumni Association, which is to help us share that knowledge with up and coming students and with the Ummah in general. What's next? What's next is finding your niche. Each and every one of us has a niche a place that we need to be. Allah has opened the doors for those places. We need to find it. Where we can now plug in, be connected with the overall duty of conveying the knowledge of Islam. To the world on whatever level we may not be global in our activities but we are a part of the global effort we play a part so we need to find that part and it begins with the work whatever we've graduated and we've gotten a job whether it is a job in the field that we graduated or a job wherein we are now required to take the knowledge that we have graduated and apply it to that job. It helps us to fulfill the requirements of the job in a way which is pleasing to Allah. So, we achieve or we attain the level of work worship. Worshiping while we work or worshiping through our work. This is, what, this is where we wanna be. That is the slot that we want to be in where we look at our work as a way of worshiping Allah. And the number one principle to keep in mind, as the Prophet ﷺ had said, in Allah you hibbu min ahadikum, Allah loves from each and every one of you. If you do any deed or do any, make any effort, and you that you do it to the best of your ability. And Allah yuhibbu min ahadikum idha amila amalan and yutqinahu. This is the goal. Once we're doing that, once we're doing it to the best of our ability, then, of course, best of your ability, meaning 
you're doing it in the way which is pleasing to Allah. Because if you're doing it in the best, to the best of your ability in a way which is not pleasing to Allah, then that's not itqan. That's facade. Corruption. So that is the niche that we want to find. That's your next step. Whether you are in a related field and use the knowledge which you have gained in IOU to help guide you in that related field, or you are in the field that you studied and you're now applying that knowledge based on the Islamic principles which you have gained in the course of your study. Either way, you're on that path to paradise, inshallah. With those brief thoughts, I will close my address, my initial sharing with you, and leave the team to complete our session. And perhaps, if time permits, we can have some general questions. Because, of course, in the end, this is not the, the idea of this meeting is not just for me to lecture you. It is for me to share with you. So that element of hearing from you is of utmost importance. So some time will be given at the end of our program to address your concerns or to hear your advice or your suggestions. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan kathiran, Sheikh, for such a beautiful and beneficial reminder. Indeed, um, I would say this on behalf of everyone, such a reminder from you is a revival of our hearts, um, enthusiasm in us. It's uh, much needed and it reminds me how much we truly need more and more of these sessions um, because hearing from you is totally different than anything else subhanallah very motivational and helpful barakallah we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve you for this ummah in best of health happiness and honor okay so as we know as sheikh has mentioned that the most important thing in this work is consistency building on that indeed sincerity is indicative of a person's true commitment and indeed, consistency is indicative of sincerity. Now, there are some sisters and brothers who have been working consistently and selflessly with us in these initial stages of establishing IOU's Alumni Association. And we have to realize that the initial stage, and I think Sheikh knows this better than anyone else, being the founder of an, a proper institute, that the initial stage is always the most important, yet the most patience and support is required at the initial stage, people who believe in the cause and who are patiently supportive of the cause. So today on behalf of Sheikh and in his presence, I would like to acknowledge and appreciate, appreciate the contribution of those who have been in one form or the other assisting us at IAA, the IU's Alumni Association. I'm very grateful to all the project leaders, as well as the amazing coordinators like Sister Hamna, Brother Saliso, who've been consistently helping us in coordinating with the alumni and whom we'll hear from very soon, inshallah ta'ala. But first, I'd like to officially introduce today to you all, my dear assistant, that is the Assistant Director Alumni Association, Sister Zahra Fatima, who has been working very hard and very patiently, Allahumma barik fiha. She's one of the most pleasant people to work with, alhamdulillah, and it's my honor to have her as our representative in coordinating with the alumni and in arranging everything for us, to be honest. Sister Zahra, I hand over the rest of the session to you. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sister. Barakallahu Fiki, sister, and um, I'm glad and uh, have no words to thank you and uh, 
our beloved Sheikh Dr. Bilal for giving me this wonderful opportunity. And uh, working with alumni has always been very close to my heart. Alhamdulillah, they've been really good. You know, uh, I really get highly motivated working here. Alhamdulillah. So let's go to the next agenda for today. Alhamdulillah. After this, the success of this book, Purpose of Creation, uh, we understood the importance of its trans. You know, is this book being translated into various languages? So, with the guidance of our Sheikh, we have along with our volunteers, we have translated this book into various languages. At present, we have around eight languages ready with us, with proofread and uh, completely done. And we have the copy with us, which is ready. And few more, which is going to happen, hopefully, inshallah, in the next three months or so. We are hoping it should happen at the earliest. But at, for now, we have eight books. That's already eight uh, books translated into different languages ready with us. So now going to um, those who have contributed here. Could you mention the languages? Sure. It's translated into Tamil. It's one of the South Indian language in India. Pashtu. And this again, um, I think it's Afghan Pakistan border, Urdu, German, Malay, Hausa, French, Sinhala, that's in Sri Lanka, and Yoruba. Nigeria. Yes. That's nine translations. Yes, nine. Uh, Sinha, Sinhala has not yet been with us. It's ready, but we don't have the copy with us. So, except Sinhala, the rest all copies we have with us. Alhamdulillah. Uh, the um, Islam, um, what is it called? Uh, I've forgotten the website. This um, Is it Islam QA, Sheikh? No, no, no. Uh, Islam House, or I think I think it's called Islam House, uh, sent you know, which is uh, developed in Islamhouse.com. Yeah, yeah, Islam House. Islam House. Uh, which is in um, in Saudi Arabia. Um, they did you take from their translations because I know I think they have translated into a number of languages also. We have considered Sheikh, but the ones that are already translated there, we didn't do that. Um, in fact, one of the sisters who was translating into a particular language that was already translated there, we uh, didn't go ahead with it. But uh, these translations are all by the students and proofread by other students. So alhamdulillah. But uh, we did consider the website to make sure there's no repeat of any translation that's already done. So yeah, alhamdulillah. Okay, so the other ones which uh, we didn't do, I mean, but they should be added to the to the IOU, uh, to the our alumni uh, project, this uh, purpose of creation. Definitely. I mean, they added and put in yes. the list. Okay. Yes, definitely, Sheikh. We will be sharing the link of islamhouse.com to give the credit to them also, but we'll share that on the website. So on, when all these books are uploaded, we will also be sharing those, inshallah ta'ala. And by then, the pending ones will also be complete with proofreading. So there'll be total 15 translations by our students. And this is excluding the ones done by islamhouse.com. Alhamdulillah. So anyway, yes, bring them all together. And, and of course, what we have done, we should also make available to them that they are able to offer them through their channel, uh, all of our translations that we have. Definitely, Sheikh. Inshallah ta'ala. Yes, Sister sure, Zahra, inshallah. continue, please. Yes. Your sister. And noted with the points. Okay. So let's go ahead and appreciate those who are involved with the translation of this book. Brother Abbas. Sister Hasina. Brother Abdul, Abdullah Omar, Sister Shamila, Fatima Noor, 
ഹബീബുനിസ സീതി ഖത്തീജ സിസ്റ്റർ നാസിയ പർവീൻ സിസ്റ്റർ സമീന ഗോ സിസ്റ്റർ സഫൂര സിസ്റ്റർ ഡയാന ഷാ സിസ്റ്റർ ആയിഷ ഇദ്രീസ് ബ്രദർ ജാഫർ സുലൈമാൻ ബ്രദർ മുഹമ്മദ് Brother Nazbun Nahar Islam, Sister Maria, Fadimatu Muhammad, Yaspin Namra Shah, Tamara Shah, Muhammad, Sister Hasina Abdul Rahim, Habib Unisa Fatima Noor Alhamdulillah so here we complete completed the appreciating those who were involved with translation and also who have proofread those books Alhamdulillah jazakallah khairan for the entire team now let's go to the next project of ours that's e book club which has been very active very consistent in their work and this project has been headed by sister hafsa regarding sister hafsa i would like to mention few things about her she is originally from north nigeria she has studied biochemistry she has completed bridge to masters that's bis program at iwm and at present pursuing associate degree in psychology apart from this she is also pursuing a final year medical student she is also a final year medical student alhamdulillah she also teaches arabic quran both for children and adults she is a member of women in dawa group she is a co-founder and member of al mustafid charity foundation uh, along with all this mashallah she's doing she's been very active with us as well so jazakallah khairan sister and over to you sister hafsa are you here can you please unmute yourself Okay. So I apologize for the delay. That's fine. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Yes, sister. Alhamdulillah. 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 Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. Amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am truly honored to be a part of the IAA and to be given this opportunity to talk about the IOU Sisters e-book club. Uh, Inshallah, I'll share a brief overview of the activities of the e-book club. Um, Alhamdulillah, we started back in March this year with the support of our dear director, Ustaz Aisha Khattak. Uh, the organizing team comprises mainly of two sub-teams, which are the book selection and review team and the motivators team. For each reading season, the, the book selection and review team prepares the stage by reviewing and giving a comprehensive report on the selected material for reading and doing a background search on its author as well. This is to ensure that we read from trusted and beneficial sources with Aqeedah Salima. Then the motivators come up with a reading plan, tasks and activities which not only create a lively atmosphere and keep the sisters engaged and actively participate in the discussions as we read along, 
but also encourages implementing the lessons learned in our, in our daily lives. Uh, we also hold a Zoom meeting at the end of each reading season where we bond and benefit each other as we share our thoughts and experiences. So far, Bifadlillah, we have completed five reading seasons um, in which we read seven books, including uh, Dear Dr. Bilal's commentaries on Surah Al-Buruj and Ibn Taymiyyah's essay on the jinn. Um, during Ramadan, we focused on the tafsir of the Quran. We shared reflections and lessons learned. Um, we are currently in our sixth reading season, reading, reading Dr. Bilal's commentary on Surah Al-Hujurat. Alhamdulillah, it has been an exciting and mind-enriching journey. We are grateful to Allah, first and foremost, for the gift of guidance. Alhamdulillah, alladhi hadana lihada. وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْلَا أَنْ هَدَانَ اللَّهِ Then to our dear uh, Sheikh Dr. Bilal Hafizahu Allah for giving us the foundation and an enabling environment to nurture our souls. Uh, to our director, Ustaz Aisha Khatak, for her support and guidance. And to the entire IOU team for always being there to lend a helping hand. جزاكم الله خيرا كثيرا ووفقني وإياكم لما يحب ويرضى وجمعني وإياكم في الفردوس الأعلى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خير بارك الله فيكم الحمد لله جزاك الله خير سيدة حفصة and we really appreciate you for always going ahead and motivating the team and keeping them going with this because we do need these days about you know getting back to the reading mode inshallah so our appreciation goes to the entire team and perhaps i can suggest here that um maybe after every three months or every four months you know um if from the books that you have read uh, there are questions and issues that arose which you couldn't find answers or solutions for, you know, perhaps um, we can have a session uh, in which uh, these questions can be raised and some discussion can take place for clarity uh, to, the yeah, to the degree that I'm able to contribute, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, I think that would be really wonderful. Sister Hafsa, please do make a note of it and uh, we will be there. I will also be calling Inshallah. you. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Inshallah, we'll do that. Okay. So our appreciation goes to Sister Tahira Iqbal. Again, an uh, amazing sister, Alhamdulillah. Sister Tahira Iqbal has been very active, Alhamdulillah. Uh, sister Tahira, would you like to uh, speak to two minutes? You can, Inshallah. If you are with us, you can unmute. Or let me just help you unmute. Okay. Assalamualaikum. I am very overwhelmed and happy to be able to speak directly to Dr. Bilal Philip Saab and. You must know that I am 73 years old, just completed MAIS in, in this February and not yet received my certificate, but I have received the marks, which has uh, reached 87% uh, in thesis and 74 to overall average, the 84, sorry. That's the reason is because uh, uh, I'm, I'm very poor in Arabic, otherwise I would have <laughs> scored more marks in average. Uh, I got 95, Alhamdulillah. And I am writing books. And uh, I would like to request Dr. Philip to uh, be able to, if he is having, having anybody to edit my books and uh, correct, do some corrections, then uh, I think it will be very useful for the whole Uma as such, because I have new ideas, which I have mentioned. Actually, my last book is about eternal guidance against shirk. 
when this is about tauhid some people are telling you can call upon others uh, and it's not shirk but then i have proved through the quranic verses as well as very few of the hadith verses that uh, it is it is indeed shirk to call, call upon others so if i can send it to you and you will edit it or you will uh, review it i will be very greatly thankful because here all of them who have read it i have liked it our khatib of the uh, imam uh, imamat uh, masjid also have highly appreciated it so please can you can i do that for you i want to know uh, alhamdulillah i am doing a lot of trying and to do a lot of work i am sending a lot of articles to magazines regarding this and what i have studied in ms has become very valuable for me and bas and ms and especially the history of islam and how to do research and how to decide which is right and which is wrong this is the main points which i could derive from these studies and that has helped me a lot in my writing i have been writing for the past 12 years alhamdulillah barakallahu feekum Well, I always do whatever we can to help, and yes, um, I think through the alumni association, uh, uh, perhaps uh, some of your writings can also go into our uh, Insights magazine, uh, IOU Insights, which is the my, my Insight has already come from <laughs> the magazine, fourth mm-hmm. magazine is my Insight well, has already come there. Yeah, we can uh, come again. We can bring it again. Inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. Barakallahu feekum. And we now have a publications department which focuses on uh publications of the works especially of our students, our graduates, their CCs etc. So inshallah uh-huh. um you will be put in contact with the department so they can be in the process of looking through some of the works that you've yeah. done for publication. That's purpose. what I want. That is what I want. because you know that way only i can improve my uh, uh, review my my writings and also see whether everything is authentic or not of course it is it has been published here and all of them like it but then i want a very good opinion from you as directly as from you inshallah kevin i think alhamdulillah your wish today has come true alhamdulillah so let's go ahead and move on to our appreciating our next participant next volunteer yes okay, right just before that if we could just add for our sister uh, if she could do a um uh, testimonial right uh, do a recorded testimonial which we can put up on the website to encourage others because people many times ask me is there an age limit you know mm-hmm. uh, you know they wanted to study in ba or ma or whatever is there an age limit you know tell them no you know we have people in their 70s their 80s etc who have graduated yes. so it would be good to to have a testimonial from you which could be put up on our website and the uh, oldest lady in india to know the io you so alhamdulillah i hope uh, it will be a, an example there many people have taken it, uh, my my example and started studying while they are teaching the colleges and schools mm-hmm. that is one success point mm-hmm. and i do uh, i do um, tell everybody that iou is the best way of reading because they teach us in a very uh, step uh, uh, any any as as per our convenience rather than your convenience that is it that is the main attraction of iou and they are teaching authentic iou uh, tawhid uh, matter which has to be spread in the world today inshallah barakallahu feekum my long time uh, my long time uh, wish was to talk to you directly uh, dr saab and i am so happy about it Masha, my my pleasure <laughs> my pleasure barakallahu feekum yeah Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. So let's move on to our uh, next important volunteers. Uh, Sister Fatima Muhammad again, who has been very active with us. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. 
Alhamdulillah. So here, well, we have still a few more sisters who have been very active, and but they've just started now. So we are waiting for them to complete a few more months so that your appreciation will happen in our next session. But we do appreciate you being very active from the past couple of months. Now let's go to the next, our core IOU team members. We are like almost working full time, I could say. Always available all the days throughout the month. There is no holiday for them. So I would really uh, appreciate everyone in that round the clock and all the day. Alhamdulillah. Sister Hamna is with us. Sister Saida Hamna, our Mashallah, she's been very active, always available with us. Sister Hamna, would you like to speak a few minutes or just a minute about your experience with us? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's an honor for me to get this opportunity to express my gratitude to Dr. Bilal. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh, for your encouraging words and providing us the platform where we can Mm, where we can serve from the comforts of our homes. So, Alhamdulillah, volunteering in IOU, I have always felt that every minute is worth spending. Alhamdulillah, it has really helped me a lot, not just in my personal development, but also spiritually. So, I'll encourage everyone to come forward and co contribute in whatever capacity you can, inshallah, especially sisters. I know it's not easy because of our responsibilities, kids, and what's not. But once you take the first step here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you, guide you, and put barakah in your time and everything you do. So I'll encourage my sisters to please join. And I'd like to extend my gratitude to Sister Aisha and Sister Zahra for inspiring us, encouraging, and providing immense support whenever we are needed. And once again, for your for providing this opportunity. And that's it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. Jazakallah khair. Barakallah fikum. Next, our brother Salisu. Mashallah, he's again, uh, I'm sure Sheikh is aware of him as well. He's been very active uh, in most of the projects with us. Next, um, welcome. Yes, brother. Yeah, good okay. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, it, it's really a pleasure being in the midst of you all. Like to me, this is this is the the closest family or the ummah. Like I owe you to me. It's it's everything. My journey through I owe you and through the IAA. It's it's alhamdulillah, I, I know what can explain it. Um, I continue to make the ask for this great university, for Sheikh, who is like a father to me, a mentor, like over, over the years of my life, I know up until when I started working, whenever I'm asked like a mentor, the only response I give is like, the messenger of Allah is the closest thing to a mentor for me. But subhanallah, getting to know Sheikh Bilal, he has just taken that role. So may Allah reward you abundantly, Sheikh. We reward everyone here for the efforts. Uh, my only advice is um, the brothers need to wake up as honestly sisters are doing more volunteer work. And I always find it like worrisome, like brothers, where are you? All around you, what you see is sisters, sisters, sisters. Where are the brothers? Maybe busy with family and work, but brothers, uh, you, need to, you need to come in you know, and join this. Um, amazing family, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, Sheikh. Jazakumullah khair. Sister Aisha, Sister Fatima, everyone, thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. And uh, Sheikh, I just wanted to um, just add in a couple of things about these two, Brother Saluso and Sister Hamna. From the very beginning that we started establishing the alumni association they've been there like since inception they've been there um whenever i tell them to you know convey a message to the rest like sisters um sister hamna would communicate with the sisters and uh brother saliso with the brothers they've always been very pleasant 
um, you know, no matter what time I communicate with them, no matter how much work I give them, they literally, these two are working 24 seven, you know, and uh, they don't ask for anything. They never complain and their akhlaq, alhamdulillah, um, I think they are a beautiful sadiqa jariya for you. So alhamdulillah, I just wanted to add that, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Allah wa barak fihum. MashaAllah, may Allah grant us many more like them. Amen. And we do have a few more, inshallah, just like them, Sister Samina. Uh, Sister Samina, again, um, she's on two multiple projects and she's also a staff of IWU, alhamdulillah. And even being there, she's very active here with us as well. So Sister Samina, you would like to speak a few words? I'll just give you the access. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh, this is uh, an honor for me to talk to you directly. Alhamdulillah, this is the happiest day of my life. Alhamdulillah, and I have, I have been connected with IOU from last nine or 10 years. Alhamdulillah, I have completed my bachelor's and doing my master's. Alhamdulillah. And I would like to thank you for making it easy and possible to learn our deen from our homes and then giving us the chance to contribute back, alhamdulillah. And Sheikh, I really wanted to share something with you relating this uh, project of uh, translating the purpose of creation. Uh, I was translating it in my uh, first language, Pashto, and one of my uncles, he was uh, helping me in this. He was uh, in Pakistan and I was in Saudi Arabia and I used to send him the audio messages of my translation page by page. And as soon as we finished translating it, he passed away. And when I, I shared this with him, he really liked the book and he wanted me to share the PDF or something with him and he uh, wished to uh, share it with his colleagues also. So I was so happy for him that this was the la his last activity he was doing in his uh, last days. So yeah, just right. wanted to make, yeah, alhamdulillah. And just wanted to make this point this, uh, as volunteers and alumni, whatever we are doing, uh, many other people are uh, helping us also directly or indirectly. So they are also benefiting, alhamdulillah. So may Allah keep this journey going on. And may Allah uh, uh, give you the tawfiq, inshallah, to keep this journey going and make us to give back our best, inshallah. So that's I mean, I mean. I mean. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. fikum, jazakum Allah khairan. Barakallahu fikum, sister. Now next is Sister Mariam Azza. Mashallah, she's also been very active with us. She was also a Pakistan student committee member. And she's not able to use our audio, so she will not be able to speak today. She's missing a wonderful chance. Alhamdulillah. Next. So here we completed. These are our core team members who are, as I said, always available. 24 bar 7, all the days, inshallah. Next, we would be appreciating our IEA admin staff and uh, those who were involved in the Ramadan project who kept the social media active during this month. And also the calling team, a very special thanks to the calling team. What uh, This time what we did, uh, Sheikh, is we called uh, all the alumni. We have around 1,400 plus alumni. Uh, we tried reaching them. We were not able to reach all, but we tried reaching them and we requested them to be part of the active IAA team. And we got very good responses. And as you see here right now, uh, most of the requests while I got during the call is what I was able to put in here in front of you. So we did, we had a special calling team where we called them and we spoke to them. Alhamdulillah. So thanking all of them here right now.
Brother Kamal Din. Mashallah, he's again been one of our very active uh, brother. Um, apart from Salisu, he's another very active brother, alhamdulillah, who's always been, who have done multiple projects with us. Brother Muhammad. Alice Makawa, Qureshi Sama, Sister Sama Qureshi again, mashallah, very active. Even Sister Sadia Salimullah Khan, uh, she's been very active and always been there for us. She's been preparing many flyers and connecting to IAA and being very regular with us. And she's the one who's handling our social media, alhamdulillah. Wafa Talha, she was part of our calling team who was calling the students in Canada. I'm sorry, the alumni in Canada. I'm still in the student because I work for IOU. I always get student. So it's for the alumni. And Sister Amreen, she was responsible for calling their alumni in Dubai, in UAE. Al Hassan Abdul Malik. Mashallah, he, even though he's from Nigeria, but he was calling other African countries. Apart from this, Brother Salisu, Sister Hamna, myself, and Sister Samina, we also took the responsibility of calling other countries and invited them to be part of the active IAA team. And our next special appreciation for cybersecurity project in which it was around 70 free scholarships was offered to the IWU students to pursue their cybersecurity training program is offered to brother Ibrahim, Muhammad Ibrahim. Brother Muhammad Ibrahim, if you are here to let me know, I can help you to unmute and speak a few words. I'm not very sure if he's here because he stays, I think, in the United States. So our next project, again, is done by Sister Nuha. She has been doing a great job with editing the Dawa books for the rewards, alhamdulillah. Uh, Sister, if you're here, do you let me know? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Jazakum Allah khair wa barakallah fikum. I'm honored, uh, really honored and uh, thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great opportunity to be able to work uh, from my own home. It's my own comfort time, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, and to be able to do uh, each voluntary work and may Allah accept all this, inshallah, as jariya ya rab. Jazakum Allah khair. Barakallah fikum. Barakallah fikum. <clears throat> Next. I just wanted Shabrin to mention uh, something about Sister Noha. The, yes. the work that she's doing, Sheikh, uh, is basically I had started um, compiling some booklets for rewords because uh, uh, there's a huge crowd of rewords who basically ask for some guidance, where to start, something, you know, summarized work. And besides your books, we have also started, um, you know, writing and editing uh, books on Salah and, you know, um, a book on Zakah and all of this. So Sister Noha basically is someone who's editing them. She is proofreading them. And uh, it's a long-term project, but once it's completed, then we will, inshallah ta'ala, publish it from the Alumni Association's platform. And this will be a beautiful work, especially dedicated to the rewords, inshallah ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. Barakallah fikum. Jazakumullah khair for all your efforts. Um, over to you, Brother Salisu. Okay, um, salam alaikum. Um, so this is, this uh, volunteers from Sheikh's uh, beautiful YouTube uh, project, uh, The 99 Names um, of Allah. They are honestly volunteers. 
that are some whom are alumni, while others are maybe students, and others are even non-students, you know. So um, we find it um, very important to also appreciate the students who have been active there and also the alumni among them, inshallah. So we can start, isn't it, Tyler? Okay. So could you have... clarify what is the uh, the, the ninety nine name project? What what is it that you're doing? The V clip check. The the V clips. I think um, quite a number are helping Sister Iman with um, I don't know. She's the one who manages it. Like you know, the after the video, they do mm. the the extraction of the clips to like mm. major points and cutting of like uh, key okay. key points key clips like it's another special project managed by yeah. sister iman mm -hmm. yeah so so these are the active volunteers from there who have been helping after each of your like the sessions there on youtube they do kind of a possible title of each of those short clips and give like a general maybe notes or contributions inshallah mm -hmm. okay Okay, we have, um, I don't know if it's a sister, Dines Kabota, um, Mario Late, um, Marwa Kabir, Siddiqui, we have Mikva Matthew, um, Khalil Sabir, um, Fatima Asif, a Fatima Javid, a current IOU student. Okay, someone just added snippets of Sheikh's videos from the 99 names. Oh, it's Sister Aisha. Yeah. So that's the project snippets of your videos, inshallah. So we have um, Saman Hashim. Um, Saadia Khalik. Al Hassan Abdul Malik, Ghana. Brother. Okay, over to you, sister. Alhamdulillah. Barakallahu feek and barakallahu feek for the entire team. The wonderful job. And next, our acquisition for the team members of Surah Al-Bakra. Uh, sister Aisha, would you like to speak a few words on this project? Alhamdulillah. So, so the Bakara course, five in one course, which we had started back in uh, basically two years back. And this is something I do every year. Um, how I engage the alumni in it was that at the moment it is only sisters who study the tafsir by the Salaf of Sutul Bakara with Arabic. Uh, we teach them linguistic meanings, then they learn the tajweed. And then they also go through reflections, implementation of these ayat in our lives practically as understood by the first generation Muslims. Then after that, after tafsir and tajweed, we encourage them to memorize it after they've understood it. And what these students, what they do is that they help the students who've completed tafsir and the Arabic and the tajweed lessons after a year or one and a half a year, they helped them in memorizing. So this was the first batch of the alumni who from the sister's side, inshallah ta'ala, we will, inshallah ta'ala, from next year, restart this course and we will have a um, sec section for the brothers also. So these sisters, which we will acknowledge right now, have helped and are still helping sisters to memorize Surah Al-Baqarah. And this is after tafsir of it. So they understood and now they are memorizing. And these sisters that we will appreciate, just a token of appreciation to them. Um, Alhamdulillah, what a beautiful uh, sadaqa that they're helping these sisters to do hith of Surah Al-Baqarah. And as Shaykh always reminds us that at the time of Rasul anyone who had memorized Surah Al-Baqarah was called a hafid. So it is such a you know uh, beautiful um, uh, and uh, I would like to thank these sisters who are as volunteers helping these students to memorize after the tafsir. Jazakumullah khairin kathirin. 
Barak Allah Fikum. Alhamdulillah. So our participants for this uh, beautiful project is Sister Fauzia, Rukayat, Zainab, Sister Uzma, Sister Shabana, Sister Tauria, Sister Hadiza, Sister Aisha, Sister Fatma, Sister Shamila, and Sister Rukhaya. Alhamdulillah. Now we'll also be appreciating our members from the MCQ team, which has also been handled by Sister Iman. I would also thank her for being really helpful and supporting. Over to you, Mr. Brother Salisu. Um, okay. This is also like a second group that um, complements the snippets, the 99 name project um, snippets. So during Sheikh's live, they help in coordinating MCQs as um, Sheikh present, inshallah. Um, all sisters, um, another part where the sisters have taken the lead. So would you like to look at all of you? So we have Sister Afira Khan. Jazakallahu khair. I'm Sister Amal Muhammad. Jazakallahu khair. Sister Amina Ashraf. Jazakallahu khair. Um, Sister Asfia Sultana Khan. Jazakallahu khair. Um, Sister Bibi Umimun Khak. Jazakallahu khair. This is another sister that's in so many projects. Jazakallahu khair, sister. Sister Fatima Salim, Jazakallah Khair. Um, Sister Fatima Ifkas, Jazakallah Khair, her efforts. Um, Sister Huma Khan, Jazakallah Khair. Um, Sister Ibtihal Ibrahim, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Juviria Ahmed, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Manahil Imran, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Ramla Zaid, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Nadir Tajuddin, Jazakallah Khair. Rashida Abdul Rashid, Jazakallah Khair, Sister. Sister Shakra Ikram, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Shazia Rasul, Jazakallah Khair. Um, Sister Zahida Shah, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Zainab Siddiqa, Jazakallah Khair. Sister Zunara Ilyas, Jazakallah Khair, Sister. Okay, Jazakallah Khair, everyone. Uh, could you clarify, please, what their role was? Uh, um, I would have loved if you can, um, Sister Ham, uh, Hamna, if you can let Sister Iman just speak because she manages the MCQ group, so she knows more. Sister Iman, are you there? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, first of all, I just want to tell you, وَقُلْ عَمَلُوا فَسَيْرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ Say act, Allah will see your actions and uh, and as well as his messenger. Well, um, Dr. Bilal, for explanation that mashallah tabarakallah, these this is the group of sisters who are uh, uh, doing uh, parts of your um, 99 names project. The MCQ questions are for them uh, to watch parts of the clips from the 99 names and take out questions. Uh, uh, this is for the MCQ uh, groups. The other, the other group, um, the video clips is for them to watch and uh, uh, kind of like you know deduct or take parts of your uh, of the video, the most important, uh, relevant one. Uh, um, this is uh, this is this is it, inshallah. Okay. So the MCQs were, were restricted to. 
the clips which were taken. Yes, yes. Inshallah. Barakallahu feekum. Zakum Allah khaira. Amin. Alhamdulillah. So now we've come to almost the closing of our session, but we cannot forget a few other projects. We have various projects again where the volunteers were part of it. Alhamdulillah. The volunteers were also part of our WhatsApp group for our alum IOU and also the Telegram groups, which IOU has. So our alumni were active you know, actively handling those groups as well. Barakallah fikum. Brother Abdul Rahman, is that He has been a volunteering in Ghana prison services. Alhamdulillah, he was an alumni and he's part of this. Brother Parvez has been again our active volunteer handling WhatsApp groups and also promoting IWU. Alhamdulillah. Tahmina Sayyid. Is again transcribing a few of our Dr. Bilal's um, videos and YouTubes. She transcribes them and writes down. Brother Omar, again, a very active volunteer in various activities. Alhamdulillah, he's also a part of the student committee promoting IOU. Brother Nazmun Nahar Islam. He is a photo editor and assistant manager handling the community service coordinator. Again, community service hours, you know, community service, uh, I mean, the, um, the SC team. Sister Sajida Bahan Muhammad Bashir. She was part of our calling team. Sister Claire, she's a facilitator in diploma section, volunteering there. Brother Sadiq Aminu, he also helps our students and IWU students to apply and also for payments in Nigeria. Promoting IOU, Alhamdulillah. Sister Fatima Zohara. She's also facilitating in diploma section, IOU. BB Ohaf. Mashallah again, participating in many of our projects. Sister Aisha, facilitator for diploma section again. Barakalo, thank you, all the sisters. Sister Rubina, student ambassador for WhatsApp group. That's the WhatsApp group again, alhamdulillah. Being very active. Sister Kainat Khan again, mashallah. Uh, she's been very active. Nishant. Student Committee in Riyadh. Alhamdulillah. Barakallah fikum to all those. Alhamdulillah, there's no words to thank you. May Allah reward you all immensely. And we have been appreciating for the various projects that we have just mentioned here. The part of those projects where alumni volunteering for IET, purpose of creation content creators, purpose of creation book translators, purpose of creation book typing, purpose of creation website work about the, the Hibs and Tajweed teachers helping in Surah Al-Baqarah, Ramadan project, Names of Allah, the 99 Names of Allah, MCQ projects, cybersecurity projects, and book editors, and 
other various WhatsApp groups and Telegram groups. So Barakallah Fikum, everyone. So this completes our certification session, providing them, appreciating them, alhamdulillah. Next, let's move on to life skill developments. We have again, mashallah, Sister Asha Khatak has always been doing this very regularly. Right now, the present projects, which is ongoing projects, the first one is again about personal development session. And in this session, what are we going to talk about? You know, it's going to be discussed. We're going to discuss about the emotional intelligence, uh, dealing with peer pressure time management, attaining taqwa, and choosing and being a righteous spouse. Along with this, daily motivation and other discussions will happen in groups. Groups like Telegram and WhatsApp groups, these sessions will be conducted. And we are also doing an ongoing session at present, which is um, graphic training designing, a very exciting session by Sister Mariam. She's conducting this session free of cost for our alumni, mashallah, from her experiences that you see, shake the website that she's been created. So she's been now training our other alumni uh, to, you know, involve in the graphic designing training program. So they can even give more input to IAE and also utilize this for their, again, personal benefits, you know, improving their life skills, alhamdulillah. So almost we have completed many sessions in this. Maybe we just have a couple of more sessions for us to complete the level one of gra graphic design training. And we are going to come up again with further with MS Office training, uh, free of cost again for our alumni, alhamdulillah, to help them, uh, not, and for the alumni as well as for IVU students, to help them how to use the MS Word in a, prop, uh, in a perfect way to create proper assignments. And uh, for our other alumni, how they can utilize these platforms for their business and other uh, personal ventures, whatever they have, alhamdulillah, will be a, of beneficial to them as well. So this we will be starting next month, inshallah. So we were going to uh, keep adding these life skills uh, as, as we keep having our alumni being part of this, teaching them, and also having active participants in this. So Alhamdulillah, here we end the session. So before I think, word of thanks, uh, do we have a Q&A session? Or how do we go about here? Yeah, we could uh, we could set aside maybe 15 minutes because uh, the session has been quite long actually. Um, uh, so we could do maybe 15 minutes of questions. Um, although, uh, what I didn't see was um, suggestions, you know, for this meeting, really there should have been a list of suggestions, say 10 suggestions, you know, which were or are made by the alumni uh, towards the improvement of what IOU is offering. Um, you know, because the, the alumni's importance or greatest importance is that having come through the whole operation, um, you have experienced on various levels issues, there are weaknesses, there are things which need to be corrected, improved or whatever, so on and so, you know, um, we need that feedback. The, the IOU's administration needs that feedback, you know, uh, put together, you know, properly uh, written up alternative suggestions, et cetera, et cetera. You know, this is what uh, an important part of, I shouldn't say it's, it's not all of, but it's, it's an important part of uh, the role that the alumni, you know, can play with regards to the university. Because you are in a unique position of having gone through the whole programs of the university. So you know where the weaknesses are. You know uh, where 
improvements could be made. Not necessarily that there's a weakness, but still it could be made even better, et cetera. So we do, you know, would like to hear uh, from you as a body, you know, some each time, each semester, you know, because we improve through criticism and correction. Um, it's nice to pat each other on the back and, you know, thank everybody, wonderful, etc. Uh, that's a good feeling, but it doesn't really uh, produce the, the necessary um, development which needs to take place. That, that takes place through critical looking at, you know, what we have, what you've been through and sharing with us how we can improve it. It's just my general suggestion that um, we would like to hear more uh, from you, you know, things that can be raised to the higher authorities of the university and looked into for its uh, greater improvement. So and now if you want to, uh, you have questions for 10, 15 minutes, we'll take a few questions before closing, inshallah. Muhammad Yusuf, can you please unmute yourself? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, our honorable Sheikh, and it's an auspicious moment for me uh, to be directly talking with you. And let me say the, that uh, <clears throat> I have been teaching, uh, serving IOU as a Tajweed teacher since 2019 in IOU and uh, GQMC. And I have done my BMAIS higher diploma course from IOU and the uh, Ijaza course from IOU as well, Alhamdulillah. And uh, uh, recently uh, I have been, I'm, uh, and afterwards I was a lecturer in my own uh, country in a university. And I taught there for 2018 to 2021 as a English lecturer. And afterwards, uh, I had applied for Islamic University of Medina before, and then it came in 2021. And now I arrived here, and now I'm, now I'm studying in Islamic University of Medina Al Munawwara, uh, Saudi Arabia. And, uh, and beside that, uh, and it is uh, a matter of coincidence that when I arrived here, and I were, while I was uh, searching my e library, uh, I got the book, The Purpose of Creation, and I was really fascinated by it. And uh, when I just went through the introduction in the first or second day, and in the third day, I read the whole complete book in just a single sitting because it was really a fascinating book for me. And then I thought for translating the book as well, and uh, I started to translate it, and I have drawn around 70 percentage has been done and the few the references of hadith and quran and all those and proofreading is remaining and besides it uh, i'm translating it in nepali language my own country native country language uh, where around 30 million are the speakers of nepali language and i'm translating it and i hope uh, i would be completing it uh, as soon as possible because uh, right now we have we got final examinations that's why i had to postpone it the work of translation and that's uh, beside that, <clears throat> we have been establishing, uh, trying to establish our, our own Islamic university in Nepal. Uh, and we have been done through the position of, uh, yeah, we have registered it, but we have in the position of uh, uh, accreditation and registration uh, recognition position. We are in that phase. Uh, so we have named it Iman University, Jamiatul Iman. And inshallah, as soon as possible, I hope uh, we'll be doing ahead as soon as possible. And we are on the process. And uh, uh, may Allah bless all of you, and especially our Sheikh Dr. Bilal, please, for his immense uh, contribution in each and every field, what he has done and what Allah has granted him. May Allah uh, please with him and agree with all his efforts that he has been doing. And 
uh, what I want uh, to suggest, I want some suggestion for myself and I want to suggest is um, I had experience as a student in IOU that uh, in the course of BMAIS course, uh, we uh, did an immense, we learned a lot of things from there and we really any, got uh, an immense knowledge. But uh, what I think is that uh, the live session and any uh, that we used to be carried out uh, around uh, twice a semester is not enough because uh, at least I think if it should be much more frequent, then we could be much more interactively uh, get chance to learn and that would be a better way for uh, interaction between teacher and the students if possible. Uh, before it used to be, but uh, due to the lack of attendance of the students, uh, it was paused or postponed but now uh, but uh, as i have experienced that uh, if the live sessions provision would be uh, done much more frequent then it would be a uh, kind of much more interactive and much more productive for the students uh, to be uh, centered with their learning to focus on their learning and to ask whatever confusions they may have been facing throughout their journey in learning and that's what I want to suggest for myself. And beside that, uh, what I want to, my first suggestion is that as we are in the process of, as I informed that we are going to establish a university in our own country, what are the, uh, any, the course ahead? What are the, uh, the track that we need to follow and what are the processes that it involves uh, that if I could get suggestions from you, uh, if not here, if there's somewhere else, sometime else, uh, if you could guide us, then it would be uh, immense uh, grateful for me the moment so that I can, uh, we can go further with it. That's what I want to say if Bilal Sheikh Bilal lives. Barakallah Fikum. Barakallah Khairan. Okay, um, from your... Uh, thanks for giving us the background. Um, alhamdulillah, yani, we do have a few graduates from Nepal who are cu currently one of the brothers, uh, actually, who I gave shahada to here, you know, Brother Abdul Qudus, um, who, having joined Islam here in, in Qatar, had uh, began to study did the BAIS and doing the, mm -hmm. the master's course also. Uh, I think he finished the master's also mm -hmm. just recently. Um, I think you know, brother Abdul Qawi. Abdul Qawi, yes, not Abdul Qudus, yes. Abdul Qawi, yeah. No, I have met him and he has explained about his experience with you. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So that's, uh, that's very promising, good to hear. And I do hope whatever we can do to help you in the formation of the, uh, of the university or getting it uh, in, in proper running order. Um, uh, we're only too happy to collaborate and cooperate with you. Uh, in terms of the live sessions which you raised, uh, two times not being enough, you know, two times per semester, one, once in the beginning of the um, uh, the, uh, sorry, at the end of the first half and at the end of the second half, uh, that's what we're able to do currently. But, uh, uh, and we were doing before, as you said, more, but due to poor attendance, uh, we, we were obliged to, to stop. Uh, instead, we recorded, you know, all of the recorded live sessions over the, the years and they're all compiled, uh, perhaps they do need to be um, sifted so that uh, without repetition, all the important questions could be extracted and uh, then made available from for the students as a whole, inshallah. This is the, uh, this is, this was my suggestion. Um, and uh, for now, this, that's what we're possibly able to do. Uh, the other question which came up in the um, chat was health science courses. We do have a plan to do public health, 
as a bachelor's in public health. And uh, it's been a plan for the last three to almost four years, but um, uh, we have to expand the university's base more before we can step out into that area. Uh, and um, inshallah, it is among the next courses which will be added to our uh, university as uh, bachelor's programs. Okay, um, inshallah, I think uh, we can um, uh, stop now because that is also time for the Salah uh, where I am here. Inshallah, we took two questions. If you people have any further questions, uh, all our courses I could just mention in general have to be courses that can be taught online. So any of the courses which have, you know, lab laboratory um, sections where you need hands-on, et cetera, we're not able to teach such courses. Uh, inshallah, we hope uh, that we will expand further into areas uh, which don't require uh, laboratory periods. Okay, so inshallah, I'm going to have to go now. It is time for Salah, they've made the Iqama. So inshallah, let me say my uh, goodbyes. Uh, thank you all for attending. And we pray that the Alumni Association will further continue to grow and be uh, beneficial to the, to the university and to the community at large. So please excuse me now and I send my farewell greetings. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh, Jazakallah Kevin, it's uh, really amazing and this will not hold you on for long. So we are coming to the closing of the session here. Jazakallah Kevin for all the participants and all our dear alumni for being with us. And in case we have missed out on any of the names uh, here, my sincere apologies for that. And, uh, but please make sure uh, you are gonna receive a soft copy of it in your email. And any of your questions we are gonna have, we, let's roll out. We will be rolling out a Google form in which you can give your suggestions. I understand most of you would want to speak. Inshallah, we will definitely have this frequently. So those who haven't got a chance this time, we'll, we will make sure you get a chance next time, inshallah. So do make a lot of duas and to be active with us and be with us. And Sister Aisha, over to you. And Jazakumullah khair and kathir and everyone, especially, you know, so Sheikh Dr. Bilal Phillips and uh, Sister Zahra, Brother Saleh, so Jazakumullah khair and Sister Iman, everyone, thank you so much for your time and your efforts. We'll end the session here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your efforts, your intentions, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all your affairs easy and blessed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of you, the best of this world and hereafter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask and uh, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Sheikh Dr. Bilal Phillips Hafizullah, the best of health and best of everything in this world and hereafter to preserve him for this ummah inshallah ta'ala, and to help us being a sadaqa jariya for him as he deserves, and much more, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan, kathiran, wa barakala feekum, subhanaka lahumma wa bihamdik, wa shadu wa la ilaha ila ant, wa astaghfiruka wa tubu alayk. Alhamdulillah. So all the participants who are not part of our groups, please do join the groups, and you have our email, my email ID to contact me if you need further assistance.